Hey everyone, this is Natalie. Just wanted to reach out. I know that um, a lot of you, a lot of all of us, are right now trying to recreate, further expand our human connection while we're interestingly enough not able to really connect physically. Um, I, I think this is in many ways uh, an awesome time. And I don't mean to make fun of the seriousness of the situation, but it's, it's really a very interesting time right now. Uh, I wanna address the fact that these are scary times for a lot of people. And, and I fully understand that. Um, there's a lot of fear right now, fully understand that because very often when there are things that are happening that, that, that we don't know the origin of, we don't know where they may go, uh, the human, reaction reaction is usually to be afraid it's just like being afraid of the dark why are we afraid of the dark because we can't see it's like we need to be able to see in order to be a little less afraid unless you see something that scares you even more but we are in those times right now the question really is why are we so afraid and one easy answer is because in the current situation that we're in with this virus, it, it doesn't distinguish, right? You don't know who is going to get the virus next and, and how is it going to affect somebody. Fortunately, we do know that there are certain, generally certain people who, who are less prone to have major symptoms. Uh, there are some who may be carriers and don't even know they have it, just like with any other virus. The scary part is seeing the numbers and, and realizing in many instances how, how unprepared or, or how little actual response, actual solutions we have. And, and as human beings, we like to uh, go to an, our analytical mind and go, okay, here's the problem, let's solve it, right? Um, it's, it's just something that, that, that some people, especially I must admit, the ones who have more of that, uh, that, that male energy go to. We've seen that in people. Uh, I, I wanted to invite, invite us to, to actually go more to the feminine in this. And I'm not talking male or female, I'm talking the feminine energy. And what I mean by that is, yes, um, there's fear. Yes, there's uncertainty. And, and yes, uh, there is all of that going on, and, and there are a lot of very scary things that, that go along with that. I mean, I, I have a daughter. I don't want her to be exposed. I, I have uh, a mom who's elderly, therefore supposedly high risk. I don't want her to get um, any kind of these symptoms. Um, and, and a lot of other people in, in my life um, that maybe right now are going through you know, pneumonia or, or, or any kind of immune issue that supposedly makes them more prone to it. I'm, I'm, I want them to be safe and sound. And so to me, I guess, um, as a friend of mine always says, you know, mama bear comes out. I'm more like the, the, the protective mother hen right now. Um, but I must also say that I guess because of who I am and, and, and the spiritual connectedness that I feel, um, I see this more as an awakening for us, an awakening of the fact that, yeah, there are limits to what we can see and what we can prepare ourselves for. And, and really, that is, that is the human experience per se, isn't it? I mean, we're constantly learning. So we can't be prepared for it. I mean, just being a mother or a father, I mean, how prepared are you for being that? especially the first time around, right? And this is the first time around. Uh, there are other similar viruses. I mean, they've been working on, on these uh, coronaviruses for, for a while and trying to figure out what kind of vaccines that there would be. So this is not something completely out of the blue. However, at the same time, the world itself was somewhat unprepared. Well, yeah, so we rise to the challenge. There really is no other way to do it. And, and so the awakening that's happening right now, in my point of view, and maybe that's just, again, me and my, my, my spiritual self here, right? But um, we're awakening, we're being awakened to looking at things differently. 
for so long, it was really separating ourselves from our emotions. It, it was pretending to be something we're not. I mean, just look at social media. And, and in the end, what did that do? It created more competition. It created more panic. It created more want, not need. It created more want. And, and a lot of people who really needed something were being looked at as, as less or as, as, as non-deserving. And, and so to me, the, this time of awakening is really more about what do we really need? And it, it, it is so interesting <laughs> to see the grocery stores right now. I mean, my, my brain is just blown. And, and I'm a historian by trade, so I mean, I, I've seen stuff, right? I know stuff. I've researched stuff. I, I know about human behavior. When, when I do the work or that I do right now, I mean, I help people unearth a lot of stuff. And so this is really, when I, when I see the, the grocery stores right now, what is everybody doing with all that stuff that they're buying? I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. I mean, do you really have five freezers at home for all that meat that you're buying? And by the way, why do you need all that meat? Leave alone the toilet paper and, and, and all of that. I mean, it's just mind-blowing to me. There are other options. However, in, in countries that we consider more advanced, there's this panic. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to have enough of this, this, and this. How do other countries deal with that who've never had access to that? Right? I mean, if you've never had uh, five shelves of toilet paper or, or, or 20 pounds of meat for the week, how do you deal with that? Very differently. And so historically speaking, this seems to be a reawakening to community. And we see that, right? I see the good. I see some people rampaging the stores and yelling at each other, being afraid. And, and I, feel, I feel very sad for them because they have so little self-love and self-confidence that they can overcome whatever challenge there is. They probably don't necessarily have a lot of friends that they really trust. I'm, I'm very blessed that way. But, you know, I, I see the good that in the neighborhoods. There, there are people saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to help you out. Uh, if, if you're elderly, I'm, I'm going to go shopping for you. Uh, people check in with each other. I'm talking to you right now. Right? And, and I don't usually jump on the bandwagon of, of saying, just blurting out stuff on, on Facebook or anywhere else, um, unless I feel that there's a need. So I see the good. And... I've always believed that we all are manifestors in, in one way or another. We don't have to believe in alchemy. Uh, it all has to do with, with our patterns and the way that we talk to ourselves, right? I mean, if you say it's going to be a bad day, guess what? It's going to be a bad day. So make it good. You know, use some of the positive examples. And, and when I grew up, we always used to say think pink, but that's really part of what it is, right? Make good use of the time that you have right now for yourself. Do that self-care. Maybe now is finally time where you're not running around like crazy. So you know, binge watch whatever silly TV show there is. That's not a need. That's a want. But, you know, you need to decompress, obviously. Reach out to friends that you haven't talked to in a while and, and see how they're doing. Uh, take a walk by yourself. I'm all for self-isolation right now. Really, I am. Um, you know, take a walk by yourself. Sit out on, on your balcony. Uh, you know, wave to somebody. Smile. If you have to go out, you know, make sure you do it the right way and, and, and don't get upset at people. There's so many people who need us right now. Leaders are emerging right now in our neighborhoods, in our lives, uh, to some degree in some countries. So leaders are emerging and it's not the leaders that have the title. No, it's, it's the people who come from that feminine energy. So I, I want to invite you to really use that time to be flexible with your mind. Yes, there will be times when we all freak out a little bit. There will be times when, 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 when we all get a little depressed. Then flex your mind and reach out to somebody to talk to. Really, really important. I mean, a lot of people here on Facebook are saying, you know, let's, let's talk about, yeah, you do need to have a support system. You can't do it alone. Um, this is where the community comes back together. And we can, we can make that happen. We can absolutely make that happen. So, 
I just want to share that with you because yes, you know, explaining what's happening to my daughter, the fact that she can't go back to school, that we're going to have to do this at home, uh, you know, having to have my mother fly out early and, and scrambling to get her a good flight with, with, with great, great help from, from the airline. That was not fun. That was, that was, you know, that was sad. She's got to leave earlier than she was. That's sad. And not knowing when, when they'll come back, having family in, in, in Spain who are on lockdown. But then on, on the positive side, they're all together. We're all together. We have online systems we can use to talk to one another. I mean, when I was a child, we didn't have that. I, I can go out in the backyard with my daughter and you know, jump on the trampoline. Now, am I very good at that? Different story, but we have fun. We laugh. And we watch a great movie in the evening. We talk about we do lots of arts and crafts. I have time to catch up on some of my business. So it's not just think pink, but it's also act pink. Create your day. And, and I'm here to talk with you if you want. Absolutely. You know, you can you can like shoot me an email and, and I will most likely have uh, some kind of a meeting, Zoom meeting, uh, probably next weekend. Uh, I know everybody's now available during the week as well, but I'll probably try to have it like next weekend on Saturday the 28th is my guess right now, where I'm just going to invite everybody to come online and let's share. And let's share from, from, from honesty and from love. Okay. I'm not in the blame game. There are a lot of people to blame right now for a lot of stuff, but this is an awakening. So let's use it. Let's use it for good. Let's use it for good. Um, so um, just wanted to share some of that and invite you to, to, to start really thinking about self-care for you, your family, your community. And let's come together in this time, uh, really. I'm a member of many groups that have been coming together. So this is like the perfect timing right now. Um, and as devastating as it seems to be, and as, as it is for many, many people, my heart goes out to you all. Let's now try and also face this challenge, challenge and face it with love. Mother Teresa always said, you know, the war on drugs, the war on this, the war, you would never win that. So let's face this challenge with love. I guess that's what I want to say, because you can, we can. All right, that's all I want to say. But anyhow, um, just wanted to send this out to you all from my heart to yours. Be safe, stay healthy, take extra precaution. Don't feel silly when you do because you are needed. You are needed. And I'll see you later.